Hello everybody and welcome to Devil Details' uh, Reaper tutorial. Um, uh, I've kind of noticed that some of the other Reapers in uh, my guild have uh, a little boning up on some skills to do. So um, I kind of just stumbled upon the things that, that I use on, on my Reaper. So I'll share it with you guys right here. First thing I want to start with is the glyphs that you got in your skills. And um, I know usually once you get to 65 and you do a little bit, you think, oh, I have all of the glyphs. Well, when you highlight uh, some of these glyphs, you could see that you could unbox other glyphs that will cost l less points and sometimes even change uh, you know, the, the buffs that the glyphs give you which is really, really, really helpful because then you could put more glyphs in your rotation of skills. And you could see what I, I use here. And um, there's a couple that I unboxed that, that I, I, I kind of just stumbled upon that. I thought like, oh, I was done or, but no, you know, I bought glyph chests and it was worth it. I was able to put a little bit more on there. I think I was able to add two extra glyphs because I cut down on the amount of glyph points used by my skills. And um, then you can see here I got 55 out of 55 used. And um, just don't use recommended glyphs. Not helpful. Never helpful at this level. And you see my crystals I got here. This is my PVE setup. I go for crit factor, monster defense, just general monster defense. And then I got my PVE set up with uh, two attack, two crit. And then um, the attack crystals that I have are really, really interesting. They focus on knockdown bonuses to damage. Increase damage to knockdown opponent. Crit power increase after knocking down. Crits increase power. And then increases crit power from attacking from behind. I think that one was. And then plus HP. You want plus HP and you want fine level 65 crystals. Because you can see I got 133,000 HP. But without those, 107,000 HP. Let's see what else do I got here chained skills you want to change this manually you want to go through it every single one of them and and you could use what i'm using here but you have to change it because even if you're you're thinking that 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 your skills are buffing other skills it, double check here because they'll end up helping other skills it's it's interesting you can see this is what I use here. Every time I attack, I start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I hit, um, no, I don't go to eight. Then I go to F1, F2, F3. But then you could do um, eight and zero. So you could uh, decrease cooldown, increase power, and then Grim Strike and uh, Sundering Strike, Grim Strike, Grim Strike. You could just double those up a whole bunch. And uh, it's really helpful. In PvE, I haven't, I, I'm still working on my PvP skills and setup and strategies. And obviously, before you go into anything, potions, buffs, use them. And you could see how much it changes uh, my general power here. So I'll use everything I usually use when I go into boss battle or whatever in PvE. And you can see the comparison here. My power is so much better here with the plus. Real helpful. You'll be top DPS like I usually am in dungeons. I hope some of this was helpful. I'll see you guys later.